So now we're going to get into some of the algebra for functions. Um, one of the things we want to be able to do is evaluate a function. Now, whatever you put in for x here is what goes in for x on the other side, or whatever your variable happens to be. So it says evaluate the function, it gives us this function, at, and then part a says 2. So what we're trying to find is f of 2. f of 2 is going to equal 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 4. So let's see if you can see it. The 2 that you put in for the x, and then the 2 for the x, and then the 2 for the x. So there were like three x's in this equation, and all of them are getting replaced with 2. Then we have to do the actual calculating. Okay, so on the right-hand side, we're going to figure out what that equals. So f of 2 equals 4 plus 6 minus 4, or f of 2 equals 6. So when we evaluate that particular function at 6, I'm sorry, at 2, um, it equals 6. Okay, part b says we want to evaluate at a. Now this one always seems a little weird to students, but what we're saying is f of a equals a squared plus 3a minus 4. And you're done. You can't simplify that. That's done. So what did what really happened? Well, we replaced all the x's. Here I am coloring in the same color. All three x's with a. Okay, now the next one, we're going to put in a plus h. Now, I'm going to use a little more room here. So I'm just going to section that off. We're saying f of a plus h. What is that going to equal? It's going to equal a plus h squared plus 3 times a plus h minus 4. Now, this is a polynomial, and we usually do simplify it. So f of a plus h equals, you'll have to square this out. Now, you can go off and do a plus h, I'll just do it over here, a plus h times a plus h. If you're squaring it, you're going to get a squared plus, you're going to have an ah and an ah, that's 2ah plus h squared. So if you FOIL it, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to write that in. a squared plus ah, whoops, mistake, 2ah plus h squared plus, then you get this distributing, 3a plus 3h minus 4. Yikes! I'm running out of room. Now, there aren't any like terms to combine, so this is it. Right there. Okay. Now, a different color. We'll see if this is bright in green. Now we want to do this one. Now, I'll, it gets a special name. I'm going to rewrite it. But we're going to say f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. This is actually called the difference quotient, um, and it's very special. Okay, <laughs> so now what, how do we do this? Well, we already did f of a plus h. That was right here, okay? So I just have to put that in. Now it's long, right? It's all of this stuff. So I'm going to write that. Where am I going to write that? I'll try to write it over here. a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 3a plus 3h minus 4. Okay, that was all, I'll put parentheses around it, that was all the f of a plus h. That was that part right there. Now we want to subtract, where's my green pen? We want to subtract um, f of a. But we know what f of a is. We already did that too. So f of a was, I'll have to use parentheses, a squared plus 3a minus 4. And then the whole thing is over h. And go back to green. The whole thing is over just, just a plain h, not f of h, just a plain h. <laughs> okay, now we want to try to simplify it. So sometimes these are a little bit long, but they're way fun. Um, you get a squared plus 2ah plus h squared plus 
3a plus 3h minus 4. Now we've got to distribute it here. Minus a squared minus 3a plus 4. So this is like this is like the orange part here. Okay, you had to distribute the minus sign in. Okay, all over, don't forget it's all over h. Okay, so it's getting kind of big. But now some things should happen. Okay, the a squared here cancels with the minus a squared there. The 3a cancels with the minus 3a. And the negative 4 or minus 4 and the positive 4, those cancel out. Okay, so it simplifies down. Now I have 2 a h plus h squared plus 3 h all over h. There's a little bit more that we can do to simplify it. Uh, you can factor out an h in the numerator. And then that h cancels with that h. So the final answer is just 2a plus h plus 3. So you probably need more paper. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, those get kind of long to write out sometimes. But there, it's called the difference quotient. Um, but it's just taking these different functions, subtracting two of them in the numerator, and then dividing by h. Uh, so that, that's how it works. Then, yeah. You'll see more of it if you go on and take, like, pre-calc. But 